What's up guys, Chris Lopez here with BeastBrotherhood.com and in this video we're going to be covering five things to help you round out your home gym that does not include bars and plates. Now if you're anything like me, sometimes you have to work out at home, it's a necessary evil. Um, even though I own a gym, uh, there are times where I am here and I can't train until I'm home. That's where it sounds weird, I know. Um, but what we're going to cover is five pieces of equipment or five styles of training that can get you big and strong without using bars and plates, without taking up a ton of room. Um, and we're going to dive a little bit, not too much, but a little bit into each one uh, and how you can use it to your benefit. So number one is a single kettlebell. I say single because number one, kettlebells are expensive, especially if you buy a heavy one, right? Um, and if you buy two, then only you have to buy two kettlebells, you got to pay shipping for two kettlebells. Um, and kettlebells are more expensive than dumbbells, and anytime you buy weight, and it gets shipped to you, it's super friggin' expensive. So just buy one heavy one, that's all you need. Um, I would recommend something at least 32 kilograms or 70 pounds, and the reason being is because an out, a light, a real light kettlebell or a moderate weight kettlebell, you're gonna outgrow way too fast. And the only thing you can do with a light kettlebell is do endless reps, right? So the purpose of the single kettlebell is to get you really, really strong doing carries, doing heavy swings, doing heavy cleans and snatches. Um, and if you can't do all those movements yet with a 70 pound kettlebell or a 32, count, a 32 kilogram kettlebell, it's okay. Focus on the heavy carries, focus on the heavy swings. Um, and pretty much by doing those two, it will almost force you to get stronger on some of the other movements. So the fact that you're buying a heavy kettlebell will actually make you grow into it. Um, your, your body will have to be, will have to grow into it. Um, that's not a bad thing. Um, so get a heavy kettlebell, one that you can, that's either kind of tough for you to handle or one that you can just handle. Uh, but 70 is a great weight and you only need one of them. Number two is body weight training. It's not really a piece of equipment, but there's nothing more primitive than you taking your own body and using that as resistance. So push-ups, pull-ups, bodyweight squats, bodyweight lunges or lunge jumps or jump squats, um, anything like that that's gonna get your heart rate up and moves your own body through space, gives your training a different dynamic um, and just rounds out your weight training. And I'm convinced that it helps me recover faster too because at the end of my workouts when I do a set of push-ups like on chest day or a set of dips on chest day, I'm not crushing myself with more weights. Um, if anything, I'm building up, uh, you know, building up my strength endurance, uh, building up uh, the, the 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 amount of volume I can handle. And um, you know, as you know, you probably know, if you do high volume with heavy weights, it gets a little dangerous at the end of the workout, especially if you're really tired. So using bodyweight training is a great way to pump up the muscles, get the blood flowing, warm up the joints and just wrap up the workout all together. So do bodyweight work if you're not doing it. Um, a good example of guys who do a ton of bodyweight work are gymnasts, you see them, they're jack strong, really lean. Um, the strength that they have relative to their own body weight is ridiculous. Uh, and there's no doubt those guys are not strong. So don't skip the bodyweight training. It will help you get strong, it will help you get jacked. Number three is bands. There's two types of bands we use in my gym. One is like a typical strength band, which looks like a rubber band giant rubber band. You see people do assisted pull-ups with them. Um, those are good. They have their uses. I actually prefer for strength training, I actually prefer uh, Body Elastics bands. It's a band, it's a brand of band, band brand of band. Um, and they're cool because they come with door hangers, they come with anchor, uh, anchor straps you can put around a tree. Um, they come with handles and clips on the end of the bands along with the number of pounds and resist, uh, resistance and pounds which means you can double up bands, you can triple up bands, make them tougher, make them easier. Um, it just gives you more options. They're a great travel gym, awesome to keep at the house because they don't take up a ton of room. And the awesome thing about bands, the best part about them is when you approach the end of a movement, so on a row, you're pulling your hands towards you, you're on a press, you're pushing your hands away from you, at the end of the movement, you're getting an extra squeeze because the band is being stretched to its max, which means your muscles are being stretched to their max because of the amount of contraction, the amount of tension that it's putting on your target muscles. So bands are awesome. Don't skip the bands. They have their place. Um, number four, suspension straps. You guys may have seen these uh, being called TRXs or TRX straps. Um, TRX is a good company. It's a good brand. It's probably the brand when it comes to suspension trainers. However, it's they're super, super expensive. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, 
I'm gonna link up a pair of suspension straps that I that I like actually myself. Um, they're called Jungle Gym XT is the is the brand, um, and uh, they do the same thing as the TRX. They're quality just like TRX, but they are a fraction of the price. So go check those out. And I'm gonna link up all this stuff for you guys. If you need a kettlebell, or whatever, I'll link it up for you as well. If you're watching this on the blog, I'll just link it up in the blog post. If you guys are unfamiliar with the blog, it's JerseyBeast.tv, and uh, just go check that out. It's a great site. A lot of free information up there. Anyway, shameless plug. <laughs> um, so suspension straps are great. The cool thing about those is that it takes your body weight training to the next level. So if you're able to bang out push-ups, no problem. You're gonna be able to bang out like um, single leg Bulgarian split squats, no problem. By using the straps and changing the angle of where you're training in, rel in relation to gravity, um, it will make the exercise tougher. There's a lot more core stability that goes into the exercises because of the unstable, the instability of the straps. Um, so it just takes your, it just gives you more options when it comes to body weight training. Um, there's only so many regular push-ups you can do. There's only so many uh, pull-ups you can do. So usually, if we do pull-ups at my gym, and we burn out on a set of pull-ups, you maybe you do a set of ten, you can't do anymore. We drop down and we finish up with some TRX rows or some suspension rows. Um, and those will, those are almost like forced reps, or forced reps that will help your muscles grow a little bit better, a little quicker. Um, so suspension straps are awesome. I'll link those up as well. Last but not least, we have dumbbells. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do we need dumbbells if we have a kettlebell? Here's the difference. The kettlebell's heavy, right, because it's an odd object. It's a, it's a ball with a handle. Um, they're hard to handle as it is, so you're better off getting a heavier kettlebell. As far as dumbbells go, you need an option with weights that allows you to do higher volume. So my recommendation for dumbbells would be get a pair of dumbbells between 50s and 70s, something that you can crank out 10, 12 reps with, for at least 10 to 12 reps for uh, chest presses, for overhead presses, for heavy row or moderate weight rows. Um, you want something that's going to allow you to get your rep work in. The kettlebell, 70 pound kettlebell, you press that above your head a few times, you feel it because it's really heavy and it's oddly shaped. All right? um, so you have the heavy part covered with the kettlebell. You can do floor presses with the kettlebells, heavy rows with kettlebells but you need something where you can do your volume work. That's where the dumbbells come in. I think here personally at the apartment, I have a pair of 50 pound dumbbells um, and uh, they work perfectly. You know, I can crank out a few sets of floor presses, a few sets of rows uh, with those and, and they, they, they work awesome. They're, they're a great tool, um, especially if you have ones in that weight range that allows you to get your volume work in. All right guys, but those are five types of training or five pieces of equipment that I totally recommend for your home gym and the reason being is because they don't take up a lot of space. I live in an apartment, I have a wife and a daughter, um, so I, as it is, like the daughter takes, my daughter takes over my entire apartment. <laughs> so I have like a couple shoe boxes with my stuff in it. Um, but this, this is a great way to get your gym in your apartment without your wife really knowing. You shove it under the bed, she won't even know. Uh, probably for like, like a couple days, then you'll find it. But, uh, uh, you know, just, just it gives you a gym without having an actual gym. So there's no excuse why you can't train. Now, that said, if you guys got some use out of this video, please like it, comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions about this stuff or how to use this stuff and how to make programs out of it. I've been doing this a long, long time. I'd be, I would love to help you guys figure this stuff out, make your life a little easier. Um, so, so comment down below if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want to see from me. Uh, and then subscribe to the channel. A lot of free information going up on this channel for you guys. Um, totally free, just my way of thanking you uh, and doing my part to help you guys not struggle with what I struggled with, getting through this bodybuilding, strength training craziness. Um, and then uh, what do I got? Oh, last thing, free gift for you guys. On the right side of the screen, up top, I got a free muscle building gift for you guys. Just my way of saying thank you for watching my stuff, commenting down below, being interactive, um, and just sticking around for the last nine and a half minutes. Now, now that that's all said and done, after you get your free gift, you subscribe, you comment, I have one more thing for you guys. I want you to check out these 60 workouts. It's 10 workouts per muscle group. So that's your legs, your shoulders, your arms, your abs, 
your chest and your back. That's six, chest, back, right? Um, 60 workouts. It's 10 workouts per muscle group using this stuff and bars and plates. Um, so there's no excuse why you can't get a chest workout in if you just have access to kettlebells. There's no excuse why you can't get an arm workout in if you just have access to bands. So it splits up the workouts based on the pieces of equipment. And this way you can get your bodybuilding work in, your muscle building, your strength training work in just from using whatever you have available to you, including body weight and suspension straps. Um, these workouts are awesome. All right, so check that stuff out too. I'm gonna link that up. After you get your free gift, finish this video and get that stuff um, on the right side of the screen. Uh, and that's it, guys. That's all I got. If you have any questions, drop them down below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace.